Gia Jewich, Zdravo, and Previt. Hey, it's time for green shorts, and I'm in my very messy shop. <laughs> Need to spend some time cleaning this place up. Every now and then, I have companies reach out to me and offer me free products in exchange for a demo. And today's video is going to be demoing a laser. And I've actually been wanting to see how I could use a laser to create things with all these stacks of wood that I've got here in my shop that I've been pack ratting. So I wanted to give it a try. Most of the time I get offers that I say no to because I really feel like they don't fit into the kind of things I want to do or what I want to make or the kind of product that I think I need. A really nice purple powder coat, that's cool. So this is the Aetzer model L2 36 watt laser engraver. And I got a 410 by 410 millimeter working area. I hope that this laser is in that category of stuff you want to see. I'll do a quick little montage here of the setup, but then I want to show you in more detail several things I'm going to try and make with this. Hopefully I'll be able to pick this up quickly enough that I won't look like a dummy. But I'm also not afraid of looking like a dummy. <laughs> That's why you love me. Right off the bat, the workmanship looks really nice on this. And it looks like a lot of it is already pre-assembled. And the assembly that I have to do, all the nuts and bolts here are labeled with step numbers, so that's nice. There's a really nice user manual here, as well as the installation manual. Travis is going to help me set it up. Once the laser is installed, we just need to make a bunch of cable connections. This laser is basically turnkey. Everything here was ready to go, except for the software and the laptop, and I only had to buy a USB-C cable extension because my computer was a little too far away. All right, before we get into the demo section of this video, let me tell you that I'm coming at this from a novice perspective. I actually have a small laser. You can tell by how dusty it is, how little I've used it. I never reached a level of proficiency using this thing. It worked. I was able to use light burn to tell it to cut stuff, but I'm still, maybe honest, hesitant about whether or not I'm gonna be successful using this. But I think a lot of you out there may be in my position. I did watch a lot of videos on this particular Aetzer product. Um, from people that are clearly pros. They, they have businesses set up where they're making stuff and they know how to use a laser and their reviews are pretty good. What I want to show you is how I think I can use this creatively. The idea part of the process is more easy for me. My brain just works that way. But I get hung up when I'm stepping into territory that I don't know, that I'm not comfortable with yet. And so I have to kind of push myself to try new things, to learn new things. And so that's what I'm doing today. Just ran a couple of test passes on this scrap and experimented with some settings here. That's cool. Definitely cutting down into the wood really nicely. There are four types of blanks that I wanna experiment with today. Got some engineered flooring an old saw blade, 
This is some paper that I've made with some lavender embedded into it. And finally, some acrylic. Of course, all the items that I'm using for these blanks here are things that I'm reusing. Salvaged, found materials, and stuff that would have been thrown away. My favorite stuff to work with. You're probably familiar with the way lasers are typically used to cut out the little giraffe things that kind of go together like a puzzle to mimic a photo on wood. I'm not going to use this for those things. There's plenty of that out there, but I want to see if I can use this to enhance my creativity, to add another layer to something that's already fairly textural, and to be a very efficient way to, say, add text to something like this, or a creative way to add text to something like this. Let's see what I can come up with. I've got one shot at this paper, so I've got a scrap of it that I'm going to use to test out the right power for the laser. You can type text right into Lightburn. I'll do my final designs in Illustrator, but for now I'm just going to type it in here. Set that to fill. I'm going to leave the speed at 100, but set my max power down to 10%. I'm going to run autofocus. Decent marking, but I think I need a little bit stronger. I'm going to go with 20%. I also got to figure out my positioning. It That's not where I thought I was going to be. marked it nicely in certain areas but over some type of paper uh, that I mixed in here to this blend it didn't mark. I can see the notch there but I could always go back and hand color that little section there. So let's try one with 30 and see if 30% burns enough. Alright so my 30% cut through it a lot more and I think there's a lot more of a smoking effect around that. I think I'm going to be okay with the 20%. Alright, so I'm going to load my artwork and run the custom paper blank. Alright, I outlined this text in Illustrator, saved it as an SVG file, and imported it into Lightburn. I'm going to use the fixed focus block here until the sensor beeps. So the texture and the different types of paper in here obviously affected the legibility, but I think I can go back in and with just with a pen here, fill in some of that. There's probably a better pen for this. I love the organic feel of this. I'm definitely happy with this experiment. Now I'd like to see how this same settings work on something without all the variables. This piece of engineered flooring.
definitely easier to read. And I wonder if I could have gone hotter with the laser. It might have cut in a little bit more, but I really like this. It looks nice. And I'll trim this down to equal sides and put a frame on it, finish it out. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the saw blade, but I'm not gonna put You Are Loved on that. <laughs> Although my dad might appreciate it. I've already got my front side painted, so I'm gonna test it on the back side. I'm gonna do two tests. One is a fill and one is an outline. And I'm gonna run them both at 100% power, same speed. My outline version got a little wavy and I think my belts need a little bit of adjustment. And the fill looks pretty nice. There's just a little bit of etch to that. I, I want to see if I can get more etch, perhaps by slowing down the speed. The power is up all the way. Let's do one more test with just the fill because I need to work on the belts before I try the outline again. I'm gonna take my speed down to 20 millimeters per second. It's gonna be slower, so I'm just gonna print one letter. So the speed decrease got me a little more depth on that, but not a lot. Now this is a saw blade, so that's hardened steel. I bet it would be better with softer steel. Although the speed also affected the legibility of my letter here. The Y is kind of leaning to the side. So I think I'm going to work on getting my belt tensions adjusted before I do any final artwork on this. Alright, so last thing I want to try in my trial run here of my Acer L2 laser is the acrylic. I'm just gonna rough out some text here in the program. I'm gonna switch this to a line. When I'm aiming with this, I need to use the auxiliary positioning offset. So once I get my position here, roughly, and this is gonna be rough, I need to hit the auxiliary positioning button here on the macro. There will be a couple of macros that you need to set in your software and that's one of them. And that's just going to bring your auxiliary center over to where the laser is actually centered. The light passed right through the acrylic. <laughs> I didn't think about that. So this too shall pass right through, apparently. I'll have to experiment with that in a different video. This tells me what I need to know right now, which is I need to learn a lot more about this machine. So my verdict on the Acer L2 laser is a thumbs up. This has me really excited about the potential that I have now to make stuff with all of these blocks of wood and other materials that I've hoarded or pack ratted throughout the years and I'm a lot more confident using this machine because it's really user friendly so clearly I have some things to do to set it up a little bit more accurately as well as learn the software and spend some time doing some research on uh, what this thing can and can't do so I kind of just dove right in with my intuitive process and figured things out enough but now I need to continue to get after it. And I'll probably start by making some stuff closer to this test with a block of wood. This is super elegant, really simple, and I think I can create a lot of iterations on this very quickly. And the antique store across the street from me loves to sell this kind of stuff for me, so I think that's where I'm gonna test this market. 
So thank you so much to Acer for sending over this amazing laser and for making me an affiliate. I'll put a link to this product in the description below along with an affiliate code that will send a little love my channel's way if you do decide to buy one. Thank you so much to my patrons and members for helping make these videos possible. As always, my mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Or in this case, make a little green by reusing stuff to sell for profit. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Saturday.